tends to be the heavy elements that undergo alpha decay because the alpha particle is fairly heavy. It's got a mass of 4 and it's got an atomic number of 2. So that means that it's got 2 protons and 2 neutrons. So it's often described as being a helium nucleus. So it's the heavier elements that undergo alpha decay. For example, uranium has an atomic number of 92 and this particular isotope of uranium tends to undergo alpha decay. So I'm going to show you how to draw a, um, an equation uh, to demonstrate the decay. So we've, we start with the isotope on this side, then our arrow, and then we draw our product. So I'm going to firstly draw our alpha particle with the mass and the atomic number. Okay, now so the nucleus of this uranium isotope has ejected this. So that means that it has um, its atomic number, uh, atomic number down here, has reduced by two, okay, because two protons have been ejected. So it's no longer 92, it is now 90. And its mass has, was 238, but it's released uh, two protons and two neutrons, so its mass reduces by four as well. So two, three, four. And then you look up your periodic table and you find out what element has an atomic number of 90, and that is thorium. And that is how you express alpha decay, and that is how you calculate what the decay product is, what that new atom is. And the other thing that gets released is energy, in the form of gamma rays.